The movie begins with a boy named Orion, who wants to be friends with a girl named Sally. However, he is too scared to talk to her. Orion is not only afraid of girls, but also fears many other things, such as being rejected and feeling embarrassed in front of others. During lunch, he eats his sandwich while secretly watching Sally. When she notices him, he quickly looks away and awkwardly leaves the scene. Orion is smart but struggles to show it in class. He has a dislike for several things, including a classmate named Lisa, scary clowns, and the fear that cell phone signals might cause cancer. He is also worried about getting infections from mosquito bites and falling from heights. His fears extend to bees, dogs, the sea, and the changing room, where he feels intimidated by a schoolmate named Richie. Although Orion considers confronting Richie, he fears it could lead to serious consequences. As the class ends, Mrs. Spinoza, the homeroom teacher, announces a field trip to the planetarium on Monday. She asks the students to collect permission slips from her desk. Despite this opportunity, Orion, feeling anxious, decides not to go. He makes an excuse about needing his parents' permission. While leaving school, Sally greets him and invites him to sit with her on the bus for the trip. Orion, too frightened to respond, remains silent, and Sally eventually walks away. He feels disappointed that he missed the chance to get closer to her. Orion's fears go beyond school. He worries that his parents might one day abandon him, despite them being very caring and loving. At home, his mother greets him with cookies. While taking one, he discovers the hidden permission slip he had stashed away out of fear. His parents reassure him that feeling scared and nervous is normal. His mother emphasizes that no one should make him feel embarrassed about these feelings. She reminds him that it is important not to let fear stop him from pursuing his goals. His father signs the permission slip and encourages Orion to join the field trip, but Orion still seems hesitant. That night, Orion was scared of the dark. He pleaded with his parents to stay with him while he read a bedtime story until he fell asleep. However, his parents, despite his requests, told him they couldn't stay. Instead, they left the bedroom door open. After they left, Orion turned on the lights, but suddenly, everything went dark. Orion's heart raced. He was terrified because of all his fears. The dark was the worst. He pulled his blanket close, seeking comfort. In a panic, he grabbed a flashlight, but when he turned it on, it was broken. Frustrated, he shouted into the darkness, expressing his anger and fear. Out of nowhere, a black figure appeared and introduced himself as Dark. He explained that Orion's screams had disturbed him. Dark shared that people's fear of him hurt him deeply, but he couldn't stop it. He had a long list of people who were afraid of him, counting in the millions. Orion tried to deny that Dark was real, but Dark insisted he had existed for over 500 million years. He said he had become a ghostly figure who scared people without wanting to. Dark complained that many viewed him as evil, even though he was just doing his job. Feeling sympathy for Dark, Orion apologized, sharing that he also felt mistreated at times. When he mentioned wanting to overcome his fear, Dark suggested they work together to face it. But Orion, still frightened, hid behind his blanket and turned down the offer. Dark looked disappointed, but respected Orion's choice. Before leaving, he warned Orion that his fears could eventually paralyze him. This made Orion think deeply about his fears. After a moment, he decided he didn't want his fears to control him anymore and accepted Dark's offer. Sensing the change in Orion, Dark stayed and was eager to help. They shook hands, and Dark quickly led Orion out of his room, ready to face the darkness together. The scene shifts to adult Orion telling his daughter, Hypatia, about his past. Like her father, Hypatia is also afraid of the dark and has a vivid imagination. Orion wants to help her overcome this fear by sharing his encounter with Dark, but Hypatia insists that fear can't be changed. Even though she's hesitant, Hypatia is curious and urges her father to continue the story. In the past, Dark was excited to show Orion the beauty of the night. He hoped to distract Orion from his fear. However, Orion, afraid of heights, kept his eyes shut and missed the spectacular fireworks display. When Dark insisted that he open his eyes, Orion accidentally fell from Dark's shoulder. Luckily, Dark caught him just in time, but they ended up having an argument. Meanwhile, far away, Light worked hard to bring happiness and hope to people as they began their day. Just like Dark, 
Light found joy in his role, spreading optimism for the new day ahead. Soon after, Dark introduced Orion to other night entities, such as insomnia, sleep, unexplained noises, quiet, and sweet dream. However, they weren't very welcoming to Orion. They worried that he might disrupt Dark's important work. Insomnia warned that if Dark's duties were interrupted, light would follow, which could lead to terrible consequences for the universe and Dark's existence. Hearing this frightened Orion, but Dark reassured him that everything would be alright. He convinced his friends to let Orion join them, promising to help him face his fear of the dark in just one night. Reluctantly, the others agreed, but they insisted on keeping Orion at a distance so he wouldn't disturb their work. Dark then showed Orion how sleep operated. However, Orion's overthinking got in the way of sleep's methods, since sleep had a slightly rough way of making people fall asleep. Orion also mentioned that sleep had a habit of kissing people while they slept for cleanliness. Annoyed, Sleep scolded Orion and asked Dark to take him away. Next, Dark took Orion to see how insomnia worked at night. Insomnia whispered negative thoughts to keep people awake. Watching insomnia's work, Orion wondered if insomnia did the same to him. Insomnia denied it, irritated by Orion's judgment. He asked Dark to remove Orion, finding him too critical. Not long after, Dark led Orion to a hill where quiet was at work. Quiet absorbed all the noisy sounds from the city, creating a peaceful and calm atmosphere. However, Orion complained about the silence, which made Quiet upset. She scolded them and asked them to leave so she could continue her work. Next, they visited unexplained noises who frightened people with mysterious sounds. Noises emphasized how important her job was, warning that Orion's presence could upset the balance of the universe and cause chaos. Seeing Orion look sad after hearing Noise's words, Dark took him to the dream realm, where Sweet Dream created pleasant dreams. In one of these dreams, a girl named Irene did wonderfully in a presentation, received praise, and even got a cat from her daughter. But when Orion mentioned a past nightmare, it disrupted Irene's dream. Sweet Dream got angry and told Orion he must not speak or think about anything in the dream realm, as those thoughts could change the dreams. Unfortunately, Orion had already been thinking about Richie, and suddenly, Richie appeared in the dream. The situation grew worse when Richie appeared as a giant and captured Dark and Sweet Dream, locking them in a locker. As Richie was about to throw Orion into a toilet, Dark urged him to think of a way to save himself, promising that his thoughts would become real. Fortunately, Orion managed to break free from Richie's grip. At the same moment, Dark and the others found a way to escape from the locker. Dark quickly rushed to rescue Orion from the dream realm, while Sweet Dream warned them not to disturb her before they left. After this frightening experience, Orion felt shaken. Dark tried to comfort him, saying he had conquered his fear. But Orion remained scared, especially of Richie. Dark pointed out that Orion was no longer afraid of him, which excited Orion. He then told Dark that he would have a daughter in the future. The scene shifts to the future, where Hypatia looks surprised. Her father, Orion, has accurately predicted her future, and she believes that his adventures with Dark allowed him to see what was to come. However, Orion insists he is just telling stories and encourages Hypatia to do the same to create her own interesting tales. Hypatia admits she isn't good at improvising like him and prefers to listen to his stories instead. Hearing this, Orion decides to continue his tale explaining that his nighttime adventures with Dark became regular events. Over time, he made friends with the other night beings, who welcomed his help and invited him to watch their work closely. Both Orion and Dark found joy in their shared journey. Their happiness was interrupted when Dark heard a boy crying in fear of the dark. Feeling sad, Dark confided in Orion, expressing his worry about not meeting people's expectations of being scary. Orion reassured Dark, sharing that he had once been afraid of him, but had come to understand his true nature. As they prepared to continue their journey, Quiet found Orion's forgotten permission slip and returned it to him. At that moment, they noticed light approaching. While Dark and the other night beings disliked light, Orion appreciated his presence because he brought hope and comfort. Sensing light's arrival, Dark quickly took Orion away from that place. The scene then shifts to the future again 
showing Orion taking Hypatia for a walk at night. Orion had planned to take her to the park near their house, but the park felt too dark, so they decided to go somewhere else. While walking through the busy city, Hypatia asks her father if he is still afraid of the dark. Orion honestly admits that he still is. Returning to the past, Orion hesitated as dark led him toward a spooky house. Seeing his fear, sleep, and the others asked if he was still scared of the dark. Instead of answering, Orion began to describe the beauty and fun of daytime, making them curious. Suddenly, dark appeared, looking sad because it seemed like Orion preferred light and the daytime over him. Orion quickly reassured Dark, saying they were best friends. To prove it, Dark challenged Orion to show their friendship. Orion gathered the other night beings in a house to clear up the misunderstanding. He expressed his friendship with Dark and shared how much he loved nighttime. But despite his efforts, the others were swayed by Orion's words about the daytime. Even unexplained noises decided to stay and experience daytime, hoping to find a job that would make her popular. Dark urged her to continue working at night, but she blamed him for people disliking the night. To Orion's surprise, Sweet Dream and the others also chose to stay, thinking they would be noticed during the day. They believed people could have beautiful dreams and still need sleep, even in daylight. Realizing his workload would increase at night, Insomnia decided to join his friends instead of staying with Dark. Feeling helpless to change Sweet Dream and the others' minds, Dark decided to leave but he felt empty knowing he would be alone at night. Frustrated by people's hatred toward him, Dark sat down and waited for morning. When light finally appeared, Orion warned Dark to leave immediately, saying that he would disappear if touched by the light. Despite the warning, Dark stayed until light arrived, and then he vanished. In the future, Hypatia felt disappointed with how the story ended, where Orion was left uncertain by Dark and couldn't go home. Orion admitted he had run out of ideas and encouraged Apatia to use her imagination to continue the story. As they gazed at the stars in the planetarium, Hypatia suddenly had an idea and happily shared it with her father. Hypatia began her story by appearing in front of young Orion. She told him that without night, people wouldn't be able to sleep, which would lead to chaos. Then, she recited a poem describing what would happen if night disappeared. She painted a picture of Earth filled with constant daylight for 24 hours. This unending light would make it hard for people to rest, leading to frustration and chaos. The noise would become overwhelming, making everyone feel stressed. Furthermore, without darkness, the world would face serious dangers, like climate emergencies and disasters. In the end, light would no longer be liked by people because its presence only made things worse. After Hypatia finished her poem, Sweet Dream, and the others appeared, realizing their mistake in neglecting Dark and the important role that darkness plays in life on Earth. Hypatia revealed to Orion that Dark hadn't really vanished. He existed in Orion's memories. Orion then asked Sweet Dream to help him access his memories, but Insomnia warned him that if he died in the dream, he would die in real life. Undeterred, Orion insisted on bringing Dark back so he asked Sleep to help him fall asleep. After Quiet absorbed all the loud noises around them, Sleep did his job, and Orion drifted off while Sweet Dream and Hypatia prepared to enter the dream realm. Inside the dream, they faced Orion's deepest fears until they finally found the memory of his first meeting with Dark. Just as they discovered Dark, a wardrobe suddenly opened, pulling everything, including Dark, into a black hole. Orion nearly got sucked in two, but Hypatia arrived just in time to save him. Hypatia urged Orion to confront his fears, explaining that the black hole was only in his mind. With their support, Orion tried to rescue Dark, but they started to grow weak. Sweet Dream decided to leave the dream to wake Orion before he got pulled into the black hole and died. Insomnia and noises tried to wake him up, but their efforts failed. Finally, Quiet whispered to Orion about the field trip, and surprisingly, he woke up instantly as he remembered Sally. As Orion opened his eyes, dark appeared, and night returned. Not only were Orion and his friends happy because dark had returned, but light and the people around them also felt relieved and joyful, as the long-awaited night had finally come back. Sweet Dream and the others realized how important dark and the night were, along with their own roles, so they decided to stay with dark 
and continue their work as usual. Dark walked Orion and Hypatia home, thanking Orion for seeing him in a new light and for considering him a best friend. Orion expressed his gratitude to Dark for helping him face his fears. He also told Dark that he would join the field trip and try to gather the courage to talk to Sally. Before they parted ways, Orion and Hypatia hugged Dark. Then, to Orion's surprise, Dark revealed that Hypatia was his daughter from the future. Hypatia explained that she came from the future, leaving Orion shocked yet relieved to learn that he had a daughter and had grown up safely. However, they faced a challenge. How to send Hypatia back to the future with no clear solution. Just then, a boy named Tycho appeared with a time machine. After they fought off some monsters blocking their way, Hypatia and Tycho successfully reached the time machine and returned to the future. Back at home, Orion welcomed Hypatia warmly and greeted Tycho, recalling their meeting from 20 years ago. In the future, an adult Hypatia listened to her son's imaginative stories about time machines and monsters, realizing that Tycho and the time machine were his creations. This wrapped up Dark's story with a happy ending. Later, Hypatia encouraged her elderly father to sleep, but Orion wanted to stay awake and enjoy the night sky. His wife joined him, and the film ended with them admiring the stars together. The scene then shifted to the past, showing Orion and Sally enjoying the starry sky at the planetarium. So the moral of the story is, don't let your fears be like that broken flashlight, useless and only making things darker. Sometimes, the best way to tackle your fears is to grab a buddy like Dark and shine a light on them together.